I don't need to search the entire office, just Jeremy's desk. That's probably an editor's office. I don't need to search the... There's nothing on Jeremy's computer worth looking at. This lists the priority stories that the paper needs to cover. The topic, Yacht Crash, is circled and underlined. Wonderful. It's a laminated press pass. That must be the notebook that Jeremy wanted. All right, Jeremy, what were you up to? Let's see if it was worth getting killed over. According to this, Jeremy interviewed a woman named Penelope Haynes. Looks like Jeremy tried to speak to someone named Penelope Haynes over the phone. A definite connection. Connection to what? It says that Jeremy followed up with someone and whoever it was tried to scam him. It says that Jeremy followed up with someone and whoever it was tried to scam him. Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. Make yourself at home. Jeremy? Yes? I got your notebook. You are a rock star. Here you go. Take it. Right. On second thought, could you read it out to me? This flu is making me a bit fuzzy. I'm having trouble focusing my eyes. Are you sure? Yes. Please. Sure, Jeremy. Thank you. So, when did you leave the village I? A little after you. Most of us did. Really? Our boss was a slime ball. And when you left, we all followed your example. I had no idea. So, the city post. That's pretty impressive. It's grueling work, but it's been nice. Everyone's saying that print newspapers are dying, but there's something legit about being in print. So, did you, I mean, do you still talk to anyone from the old paper? Not really. I was just happy to get away from the place. How about you? No, I never even talked to anyone when I was there. You spoke to me. Sometimes. I guess I must have. So, what else have you been up to? Oh, you know, nothing much. Just this darn flu. I just hope you don't catch it. I wouldn't worry about that. I don't know what else to ask him. I didn't know him well enough. Looks like I never will, now. You wrote about someone named Penelope Haynes. Penelope Haynes, yeah. She's an interesting case. She's a victim, but doesn't believe she's a victim at all. She embraces it. I wish it was uncommon, but unfortunately it's not. What do you mean? God, my head. It's like thinking through a straw. Penelope, she's the weak link. She's a talker. Most people don't like to talk about this kind of thing, but she does. Talk about what? It's hard to explain. Why don't you try us? No. I'm just really sick, okay? I can't think straight. Of course, you're sick. I understand. Thank you. But I do need more to go on. Speak to Penelope. She lives up on Park Avenue. She's a bit old, so be patient with her. You wrote in your notes that you lost your phone. Did I? Yes, you did. 
If I did, I must have found it. I've got it right here. See? Did you hear about the murder on the High Line? The... the what? Somebody was killed at the High Line Park, very recently. That's interesting news. But hey, somebody else is going to have to cover it. I'm really sick and I've already got a story to cover. Is there anything else you can tell me about Penelope Haynes? Have you been up to her apartment on Park Avenue yet? No, not yet. Go pay her a visit. Once you know more, we'll talk again. Well, I better get going. All right. Thanks again, Rosa. Yes? Penelope Haynes? I'm Madison Haynes. Penelope is my mother-in-law. Can I help you? She had a visit from a reporter not too long ago. A Jeremy Sams from the City Post. Oh, you're with them. Come in. <laughs> Sorry, but you're out of luck. She no longer lives here. Where did she go? Where she can be taken care of. She's quite elderly. A nice enough woman, but needed a lot of looking after. As you can see, we just had a child. I couldn't look after both of them. Not if I wanted to keep my sanity. So she's in a nursing home? An assisted living center, yes. Could you tell me what center she's in? I don't think that's a good idea. When your friend from the newspaper came, she became quite agitated. She was always a little unstable, but she became much worse. I don't know what you want with her, but I don't think I should tell you where she is. Are you sure you can't tell me what center she's in? It's kind of important. I don't care if it's important. She's not well. What did Jeremy speak to Penelope about? You don't know? Aren't you from the paper too? Not exactly. Jeremy is, uh, ill. I'm following up on his interviews, trying to learn what he did. I see. Well, I don't know what they spoke about. He spoke to her privately in her room just over there. That's a cute kid you've got there. Thanks. His name is Chris. He's about eight months old now. He's a little terror, but <laughs> he's mine. Well, thanks for the chat. I might be back to follow up. I don't really have anything else to tell you, but bye. bedroom door. Not bad. Some kind of green trinket. Look at the dust on that thing. Nobody's slept here for a while. Pretty generic stuff. They sell this crap by the hundreds in any department store. It's a brochure. It looks like it's for a nursing home. The place is called Seagram Assisted Living, and it's got a branch down on East 33rd. Looks like they forgot to turn the lights off in here. It's the way out of here. Looks like an old closet to me. Looks like a thermostat. I've always wondered what kind of people collected these things. I could get used to a view like this. I wouldn't kick her out of bed, but only if she lost the attitude. He's staring right at me. Kids that young have always been able to see ghosts like me. They never get scared, though. I guess they don't know any better. Looks like a phone to me. He's staring right at me. Kids that young have always been able to see ghosts like me. They never get scared, though. I guess they don't know any better. So, kid, how's it going? Oh, no need to get up. Oh, hey, watch it! <sighs> I found out where they stashed the old lady. It's a place called Seagram. Did you get the address? Of course I did.
It's the elevator. Looks like a bunch of brochures for the nursing home. Got it. I'm guessing she's the nurse on call. Hi, is this Seagram Assisted Living? You've got the right place. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Penelope Haynes. Does she stay here? Mrs. Haynes? She spends her time in the common area most days. It's on the second floor. You can't miss it. Thanks. Can you tell me anything about Penelope Haynes? Her? Nice lady. Very... I guess you could call her spiritual. She hangs out in the common room most of the time. Could you tell me a bit about this place? Well, if you want my opinion, this is one of the best assisted living centers in New York. But you don't want to hear a PR spiel, I'm sure. If you're interested, take one of our brochures over there. It's okay if I go visit her? We like to think of our residents as guests, not patients. We take care of them, but this is their home. As long as you don't bother anybody, you can come and go as you please. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. It's a hole puncher. It's a brochure for the Seagram Nursing Home. It's got a big hole punched in it. I guess for hanging on hooks. There, there. It's only visitors. Wow, the residents here sure get the star treatment. I'm not here to watch TV. Wow, the resident. I'm guessing that's Penelope Haynes. An old man. He's just staring out the window. Penelope Haynes? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Madison. Well, this is a surprise. No, I'm not Madison. You're not? Ah, oh, yes. Sorry, I should have known. Your aura carries a whiff of her essence. I got confused. You said something about an aura? I could see it a mile away. Your aura, my dear, it's been infected by her. Her? The woman who calls herself my daughter-in-law. Bits of her essence have infected your aura like vile worms. Really? No, not really. Don't fall for this. She smells Madison's perfume. I don't have a nose and I could tell she was swimming in it. Madison is a spiritual viper. You think Madison is a spiritual viper? The energy. Energy flows into her, but doesn't come out. She just cares for material wealth and nothing for her fellow human beings. She's corrupted my son, and it's too late for him. But me? I got out. Lucky escape. I was told Jeremy Sams came to talk to you. Oh, that young man? So keen, so interested. He believed, or he wanted to. He's on his way now, I think. I sent him there. Where did you send Jeremy? To the next phase, of course. The next phase? There are many worlds, but we have work to do in this one. I... I'm afraid I don't understand. There, there. You're not supposed to. Do you know Jeremy is dead? What? What are you talking about? Jeremy is dead. He was killed a few days ago. Oh. Oh my. That is funny. Pardon? Me going on about sending him on his way to the next world. What you must think of me. Don't worry about it. I sometimes forget that I operate on a higher plane than most people. Still can't be helped. Don't worry about the boy. He has rejoined the universe.